Horizons One is now departing. Our final destination today, the 21st century. Hey, that's some destination. My wife's right. Wait till you see the new towns of tomorrow. Desert farms and floating cities, even colonies in space. But you know, this isn't exactly the first time anyone's tried to make this trip. People have been dreaming about the future for centuries. Well, here is the stuff dreams were made of several hundred years ago. Yep, it's always fun looking back at tomorrow. Come on, I'll show you what I mean. There's the grand old man himself, Jules Verne. This is the way a moonshot looked to him back in the late 1800s. Old Uncle Jules may not have had all the answers, but he had the right idea. He was just a little ahead of his time. You know, people have painted some pretty fantastic views of the future. And some pretty mixed up ones, too. Just around the corner. Cityscape, a living tribute to our richest resource, people. Here's a new kind of cityscape, the microprocessor, an entire computer on a tiny silicon chip. Crystals, inspired by nature, now engineered by man for an ever-growing role in microelectronics. 
The world of liquid space. Oceans of minerals and food ready to fuel tomorrow's needs. The DNA chain. Life's molecular blueprint. Decoding its secrets is leading us to dramatically improved health. The sun. Today we're learning ways to harness its limitless energy. What you've just seen are the building blocks for the future up ahead. And while it may look fantastic, remember, it's all possible. That's right. And we ought to know. We live there. Come on, take a look at 21st century living on land and sea and even out in space. But let's start off at our place. Thank you. 
always been something sort of mysterious about our oceans. We knew they were filled with valuable gifts for us. Yeah, water and seaweed. Very funny. But seawater has become an excellent source of energy, as well as being valuable for desert irrigation. And kelp... Seaweed? Kelp is a tremendous source of low-cost fuel. Oh, we found lots of good things under our oceans. And don't forget space. We found lots of good things out there, too. These space colonies are out of this world. Let's take a quick look around. Here. Our son and his family wouldn't live anywhere else. Hey, maybe you and I ought to move up here. Oh, what a wonderful idea. Now there's my speed. Sports and exercise in zero gravity. It looks like fun. Once you get the hang of it. Hey, Mom! Mom! What is it, Tommy? Look, Mom, I'm flying! Why don't you try? I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. Don't let go of Napoleon. We don't wanna lose him. <coughs> hey, Mom, what if he just floats away? Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom, what if I just float away? Then your father will get you as soon as he manages to get your shoe. Just think, materials from space for all kinds of industries back on Earth. And that's... Uh-oh. We gotta run. Time for our grandson's party? Uh-huh. We'll catch up to you later. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday.
though we're almost back from the future. Oh, it went by so quickly. Yes, but one of the nice things about traveling into the future is that the journey is just beginning. That's right. And I'll tell you something. If we can dream it, we really can do it. And that's the most exciting part. Us. Thanks for exploring Horizons. Now, please take small children by the hand and watch your step onto the moving belt. The belt and your vehicle are traveling at equal speed. <laughs> 